POV Italian cooking where you see cooking from my point of view. Uh, tonight, doing something a little different. I'm actually cooking a main course and a side dish, but I'm going to break them up into two different episodes. Again, I'm, my goal is to keep these under uh, 20 minutes uh, for the full episodes and uh, I'll right around five or under for the quick shots, but tonight we're doing a, a normal episode. Tonight, we're going to make baked Italian Parmesan chicken. This is really simple. Not much at all to throw it together. Um, take about five, ten minutes of prep, and then it bakes for about 30 minutes. And while that's baking, then we'll work on our side dish that we'll talk about in the next episode. So, let's not waste any time. Let's get started. Okay, let's take a quick look at our ingredients. Of course, we're going to have chicken. Now, um, these are, they say thin sliced chicken breasts. They're not thin enough for my liking, so we're actually going to pound these out a little bit. We're, uh, we'll show you how to do that, the proper way to pound out your, your chicken breasts. Now, we are going to have like an oil that we're going to dip the chicken in before we bread it, and that will be made up of, my dog's barking, she's in the mood. We're going to use a half of cup of oil, and we're gonna mince three cloves of garlic and just dump into the oil and kind of stir it up so the garlic will infuse the oil. Our breading is gonna be made of one cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. We're gonna have two thirds cup of grated Parmesan and about a teaspoon and a half of basil and about a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper and we're going to mix all those ingredients up we'll show that too real quick um, so let's get started let's do this let's go ahead and we are going to do our breading first then we'll do our oil and then we'll pound out our chicken so let's get started okay let's get our breading mixed up we've got our one cup of italian breadcrumbs in a bowl we're just going to dump in our teaspoon and a half of basil and our two-third cups of Parmesan, shredded. And then we're gonna do about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I always, always use freshly ground pepper. We just mix this all together. What we're gonna do next is make our oil that will, we'll dip our chicken in. That oil will kind of work to adhere these breadcrumbs and, and Parmesan mix to our chicken. That's ready. We're gonna set this aside, break away so I can reset to get my chicken laid out. You're gonna see that my uh, cutting board will go away because we do not want to cross contaminate from chicken. First thing we need to do is get our chicken pounded out. Again, these are, they say thin cut chicken breasts, but they really, they aren't that thinly cut. You can see here, they still got a pretty good bit of thickness to them. So we want to pound these out. Another reason to pound them out, not only because they're a little thicker than I'd like, but also it makes the meat really tender. So what I've done is I've got a piece of parchment paper down just to keep the mess away from my table. I have a piece of plastic here because what we want to do is we want to set the chicken breast in the plastic so that meat juice, for lack of a better way of putting it, doesn't fly all over the place. And it just, it just won't make a mess against my hammer as well, my meat hammer. So what we are going to do, let me make sure I got my camera adjusted appropriately, is we're going to pound this out. You start in the center and you pound your way out. Don't start on the edge, but you want to pound it right down the center and, and let it spread out. I like to use the pointy end because it breaks up some of the fiber. Now, let's take a quick look. And see here, it's a lot thinner. I'm gonna put it back in the plastic and pound this edge a little bit. But that's pretty much done. It's thinned out. Let's put it back in the plastic, pound this edge. That is pounded out nice and flat. It's spread it out. This is gonna work real well for what we're going with it. Now, I am gonna go on pause and do the rest of the chicken breast. There's no reason for you guys to watch me do the same thing to three more chicken breasts. So be right back. All right, so I've pounded out the rest of our chicken breasts. We've got four nice sized, thinly cut, well now they're thinly pounded uh, chicken breasts. Now we're gonna get our oil ready. This will be the oil that we're gonna uh, run our, our chicken through before we dredge it in our uh, breadcrumb and Parmesan mix. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take a half a cup of oil. This is a one cup measuring cup. So go halfway with that. Or you can just eyeball it like I normally do. 
Then we're going to put our garlic in. Our garlic, this was uh, about three, four cloves, finely minced. Again, it just really depends on uh, how much garlic you like. Just give that a quick stir. Now you're going to want to let this, this set for, gee, five minutes, maybe ten minutes, because you want to let that garlic oil infuse your olive oil. It's going to give you a better flavor uh, for when you, uh, you, know, you, you, you coat your chicken with it. So I'm going to break away and let this set for about five minutes so, uh, so we got a good taste, tasty olive oil mix. So we will be right back, and when I come back, we're going to have our baking dish ready. My oven is preheated at 350 degrees, so we're going to be able to put this right in the oven when we're done. So hang tight. We'll be right back. All right, so we're reset. We're getting ready to get our chicken all ready to go in the pan. First thing we want to do is use our trusty nonstick spray and really heavily coat your pan. This way the breading won't stick and whatnot. I suppose you could use butter or lard, but you know, we're trying to cut a few calories here, so use the pan. And now it's time to get our chicken in the pan. So, it's oil, topping, pan. So, while we're getting this done, again, see we just kind of dredge it through with some garlic sticks. Hey, that's fine, that's extra flavor. Kind of shake it off a little bit. Get it in there, get it coated real good make sure you got a real good coating of your breadcrumbs and your parmesan because if not this isn't you know parmesan chicken there we go don't want to shake it off we just kind of want to put it over uh, let's brush our hands off here in between so while i'm doing this let's tell you a little bit about our wonderful weather here in ohio gosh not two weeks ago we're walking around in our, is almost shorts weather really, and we had a nice cold clip move through, and in just a matter of days we went from bearable to unbearable. This morning it was down into the single digits, a little bit of snow on the ground, enough to be annoying and make things slippery, and actually my son got his, the youngest son got his first day off from school this year. So he was excited to stay home and play video games and do nothing all day until he had to go to work. Lucky him. So, made it fun driving home and whatnot, but one of these days I'm going to end up somewhere sunny. So we don't have to deal with this. I'm getting too old for it. All right, look at that. We've got three, two of them done, working on our third. Now I am going to tell you what I'm going to do. Because I, you know, if I'm making chicken parmesan, I want a good parmesan flavor on my chicken. I'm going to grate a little bit of extra parmesan on top of this chicken. Just to give it a little bit more parmesan flavor. Because I don't see as much parmesan sticking on some of the pieces as I would really, really like. And again, what do I say? What's the saying? Go with your gut. My gut says more parmesan cheese. At least sprinkled on top. And you'll see too that, that you're, you don't have a real heavy breading on this. It's not, just enough breading to add flavor. This isn't like dredging it through flour and then taking it to an egg wash and then, then into the breading where you get just big clumps of breading. This is lightly breaded. Gives it a little texture. So what I'm going to do, break away, wash my hands, clean up my table, and then we're going to come back and do a little extra parmesan on this. So be right back. All right, so I have cleaned my workspace, sanitized because we had chicken, and what I want to do is you can see that some of the, let me get the camera a little closer. You can see a few of these pieces really have a lot of Parmesan, and then I've got two that don't seem to have a lot of Parmesan sticking. Well, I want to I want to even that out. So, besides Parmesan is delicious. Spend the extra money to get the real Parmesan Reggiano get the real stuff. The imported stuff is a little more expensive. The real stuff, the Parmesan Reggiano, but the flavor, oh my gosh, there's a big flavor difference in them. It's, it's a much more intense but not overbearing flavor. You can always tell the real stuff 
is they put it in this great big wheel. Now this doesn't have a lot of the rind, so you can't see it, but you can see it's got a little yellow, but you'll see if, if you see the big wheel, it's got numbers and stuff stamped in the side of it, and the numbers mean something. Yeah, I'm not smart enough to know what that all stuff is. All right, this is ready to go. It will go in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. That'll ensure that the chicken's uh, cook clear through. So I'm just gonna break away, pop that in the oven. We'll be back in about 30 minutes to check on this. Okay, it is time to take our chicken out of the oven. Pull this up out of here. See if I can do it without dropping it. This is our Italian Parmesan baked chicken. Still sizzling, so we want to let it rest, but boy, that looks really, really tasty. We're going to plate this up here in just a second. So I'm going to let it rest for just a second till the sizzling stops, then we'll plate. Thanks for watching POV Italian. To stay informed of uh, future episodes, just click the subscribe button in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Yeah, if you have any comments or you want to learn uh, to, how to prepare a particular Italian dish, put that down in the comments below. I'll read all the comments. Um, don't forget to uh, follow us on social media. Uh, if you look on Instagram at instagram.com slash POV Italian, on Twitter at twitter.com slash POV Italian, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash POV Italian. If you'd like to contact me by email, you can uh, contact me at POV Italian at gmail.com. You know, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. Ciao!